Good morning, what's happening? It's Vince, uh, Backyard Mangoes here, and it's early morning, and I'm out here at my property, and the humidity is high, and so what happens is when this humidity is high, that grass gets soaking wet, you know, like, which leads to why I, pro I spray sulfur and fungicide, but that's not why I'm talking to you today. Um, company saw my video, and they were concerned about my poor wet feet. And because sometimes when I'm out here, let's see if I got this. I just wear a pair of slippers in the morning because they can dry off pretty quickly. If not, I have to, well, if I'm doing heavier duty work, I wear tennis shoes and my feet are soaking wet. And I'm going to be honest, I don't like uh, soaking wet feet. I got a buddy I hunt with. He uh, does not mind wet feet and he'll walk through water with just tennis shoes or whatever short boots he's wearing. Me, I wear super high boots uh, all the way up to my knee because the swamps in South Florida, you pretty much have to. But let's check out these boots that this company sent me. So the company is called High C. Uh, don't know much about them. And let's get to the box. All right, so I'm back, and uh, this is the boot I wear hunting, and it's not, uh, I don't like getting it on and off for doing all my yard work, but I love that this thing is a full 18 inches high. What I hate about this thing is there is, um, it's just so squishy and flexible in this particular uh, boot, and it has this super tiny heel, and this tiny heel, when I'm in the swamps doing my hunting thing, I just don't feel like there's a lot of stability on it, which there really isn't. Uh, so if this brand was watching, I'm going to tell you make a larger heel and firm this bottom up a little bit, but keep the height and I would love it. Uh, I will tell you there is another uh, mango farmer here in the tropical area who has acres. He wears this boot 100% all day long. Uh, it is a good boot, but this is the boot we're here to talk about. So this boot is high C. Um, actually, I think I've seen out on the drift boats, a couple of the guys, the, the mates on the boat, uh, wearing some of their, their boots, but this is called the high C. I don't know much about them. They reached out to me. Thank you to them. And let's see what's in this box. All right. So I like the lugs feels already uh, a little thicker here on the bottom so i'm definitely going to be digging that nice little pull loop because i'm gonna just be honest i have uh freakishly uh weird arches my foot doctor said i actually should be in textbooks because it's so abnormally high they're like it's either should be in a, a medical textbook or in uh well i won't say what i want to say something about you know foot binding and things so let's put this on and see what's going on here let's see if it, oh. if i do it like this i could be like oj doesn't fit don't fit if you're young you don't know what i'm talking about Anyway, let's slip this on because I do have a high arch, so I'm glad it has this pull tag. If not, I would never get this on and slipped right in. Perfect. Keep the tag on it. Keep it styling. Put this on. Um, slip this down in the front. So the arch. Cool. Life. Ooh says it has a lifetime warranty here that's cool keep dry i do like to have dry feet warm it's south florida i don't have to worry about keeping warm i'm pouring sweat just sitting here anyway i think i'm going to try these out later today i got to mow the lawn and so when i'm actually uh weeding uh, weedy weedy the lawn that's what we call it around here when we take the weed eater and go around the trees um uh, I might use these because I use a, a similar boot to this, but it's more of a construction boot. Um, so I'm going to just check these out. Looks like there's a little flex around the arch, which is good. So it's not killing my arch. Some boots uh, 
put too much pressure downward on my arch because my arch is so high. It's like a London bridge. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. Thank you to High C. Oh, hey, you know what? If you're still here, let me tell you. Uh, they reached out to me, and as part of a collaboration, when I do collaborations with some people, um, they're offering uh, any of my viewers a discount, and the discount code is MANGO15. So if you purchase any of their products on the website, um, they have hunting boots I saw. They have deck boots. Like I said, I think I saw the mates on the drift boat wearing them. Um, Mango 15 to give you a discount on, on their shoes. Who knows? Maybe I'll try. Oh, I like this. So I'll show you here. This one doesn't have it. Some boots have a little tab on the back to help you slip these off. And so what I'm seeing here is there is a nice definitive tab. And what you do is you basically are going to, uh, it gives gives the boots something to grab hold of. Now I will say I'm gonna have to replace these. They were comfortable, they are comfortable. But I just like something that stays in there when I slip my foot out. Then again, I'm barefoot right now. So maybe if I was wearing socks, it would stay in. Who knows? I'll try it with socks because when I mow lawn, I'm wear full gear for sure. Um, anyway, but so this tab, let's get back to the tab. See if you can pick it up right there, the tab. And you just put your other foot on there and push down and push down and it helps slip the boots right off. Um, these don't have that tab. But my other boots that I wear do. So, hey, do you remember the code? It's a test. Mango 15, and the company is uh, called HiC.com. Oh, so the boots, you want to know. Pardon me, I was just cooling off and brushing the debris off after weed eating around uh, 50 mango trees. Anyway, so how are the boots? Let's see if I slide that off. Well, uh, it's not, they're dirty, but they should be dirty. I'm working in them. They're nice. They're comfortable. They're light compared to my other boots, which are heavy, big clogging things. Um, so they're a lot lighter for sure. They protect my feet. They were comfortable. And then let's check how, now that I got my socks on, yeah, the pad stayed right in. So if you, earlier in the video, if you're still with us, the pad came out because I had bare feet earlier. But with my uh, socks, stayed right in. So yeah, I like them. Pretty cool. Thank you, Hi-C. Appreciate it.